Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, this is Luca Red Tarot. So I already started pulling out cards for y'all and I'm getting the feeling like that you may be dealing with somebody here who you feel like is holding back, okay? This person could be somebody who spends a lot of time with friends. They could be, they could have some kind of addiction or something. They're coming up as the emperor. So... You could even be in a long-term relationship with this person for some of y'all. Um, unless this person is in some kind of long-term, you know, commitment themselves. Like, I haven't seen that yet, though. This is more of, like, somebody who... It's almost like they hold back... There does seem to be some kind of long-term situation here with the Six of Cups. But it's like they hold back... Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, there could have been a ring or something, but with the Five of Pentacles, it's like, or maybe there isn't. It's something, somebody is either being like childish, I'm getting this feeling that, um, or immature, maybe not childish, but immature. Somebody who parties a lot, okay? You're coming up as this Empress who needs to, like, I'm getting raised your standards here. This could even be somebody who's holding back your success in some kind of way. Okay, so we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you might feel like this. Like you may, this could, because we're, this is a general reading, you know. But I, I do get the feeling there could be a, this could be three different energies or this Queen of Cups could be you, this Empress. Um, or you could be the King of Wands in this situation. But, so there could be a mother in this involved in this situation as well, okay? That's got something to do with it. Let me get over here and get these other cards. I'm going to use the Tattoo Tarot to clarify what is going on here. Okay, so Taurus, Libra energy as well, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, So all the fire, okay, so yeah, fire, earth. Uh, water is coming out real strong. <clears throat> okay. So, let me get something on the Queen of Cups here. What do they need to know? Yeah, I believe this is going to be for YouTube. And I apologize, YouTube. I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to upload a reading for y'all every Sunday, at least. I've been more active on Facebook because there's just a lot more, um, you know, people interacting over there we got the queen of cups clarified by the clarifying the queen of cups wow okay is my camera let me see it looks a little out of focus there i might wipe it off but yeah so if you guys um are following over there if you're not y'all follow me over there because i've been i'm posting it every day and if y'all want to help me out on this channel Y'all like, comment, share. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe. Okay. Now, crap. I can't find anything to wipe it off with. <laughs> yeah, I got something. <clears throat> okay. Where? I hope I didn't stick my face in front of that. My hair is looking wild. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. Maybe it's just because it's... Maybe up close it'll be focused. We'll see. Okay, so yeah. Queen of Cups. Clarifying the Queen of Cups. All right, Judgment. We got the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius Energy with the Emperor. Uh, Aries Energy. Scorpio. Okay, yeah, this definitely... This could be somebody who is a business owner you're dealing with, with the emperor, or you could be with the empress. Okay, judgment. What do they need to know? Knight of Cups. Hmm. Look at the bottom of the deck. Judgment as well. Knight of Cups. Can't surprise you, Scorpio, again. Somebody's really in their emotions about this whole situation. This could be you, you know. Like this person has you in your emotions. Or they could be in their emotions because they feel like you're not giving them something. You know, it could be vice versa. Three of Pentacles, they want you to uh, cooperate. 
King of Coins, something about finances, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Um, or they want to work on something. There could be a lot of romantic energy here with the all these wands and cups. Like emotions, passion, okay. Maybe you're holding, maybe somebody feels like you're holding back on that. And maybe you are with the Empress and the Five of Pentacles here. Maybe you are. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, it just depends on, you know, what the situation is. Um, like if somebody is holding back on, cause with the seven of swords and that ace of pentacles, to me, it was looked like maybe somebody was holding back on something, something, maybe some kind of commitment or something like that. King of wands, or maybe you feel like that king of wands clarified by the knight of wands. Okay. Ace of cups. Yeah. Somebody's in their feelings and that like, they love you with this ace of cups. It's coming up as wow. They have a lot of respect for you. They don't mind taking things slow. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. I like that. All right. Knight of wands, but they like, they want to, <laughs> but they respect, you know, whatever your boundaries are. I'm getting okay. So far six of wands, what they need to know. Four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Six of coins, two of cups, two of swords, seven of swords. Hmm. Well, this could be the two of cups talks about like a soulmate connection or some kind of, you know, spiritual connection. Uh, six of coins, it's like, oh, they feel like you're holding back. They might, they might be feeling like maybe y'all's love is maybe they're, what is it, unreciprocated, you know? unrequited maybe they're starting to feel like their love is unrequited here with the two of cups you see the six of coins like back and forth energy they're starting to feel like that maybe hmm maybe they're starting to wonder if you oh um, that's kind of a strange combination there i will admit that okay let's see two sixes there What's the Seven of Swords? Maybe they feel like you've got some other options going on. They feel like, you know, or that could be you thinking like they're holding back certain things. So, okay. So, it's coming out pretty obvious what they think you're holding back on. Like, they think you're holding back. So, they feel like you took with the Seven of Cups. They, yeah. They're starting to think like maybe you got some other options. Maybe you're fixing to walk away from them. They're all stressed about this, possibly. We got two eights here. Some kind of new beginning. They're afraid you're going to... um. Yeah, maybe they're afraid... We got the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're afraid you're going to move on with somebody else, possibly. Um, The ace of pentacles here. What do they need to know? The seven of wands. They feel... With the Seven of Wands, either they want to... Okay, the Fool, the Emperor. They want to fight for this connection, okay? They fear losing you, all right? You are like this person's sunshine, <laughs> the Chariot. Oh, man. Come on now. Get it together, bro. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. What well, they need to know? Get it together. Whatever this is that you need to offer. Okay, Queen of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn... Is that that mother energy? Uh, Justice, Libra. What's the five of coins? Or the five of pentacles? Chariot, cancer energy. What's the five of pentacles? Page of cups. Hmm. Mother, child energy. There could be a... This person is dealing with a lot of situations that involve, like, family, stability, something like that. Five of Pentacles. Tell me more, please. Five of Pentacles. The Empress, okay? So, there definitely could be a mother involved in this situation. That's what's slowing down this whole situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, the Empress, the Empress, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. What's, what do they need to know? The Devil. Okay, I'm going to turn that over because I don't want to get that card's kind of. Okay, Capricorn, Energy here. Four Cups. The Sun. This person feels like they're going to miss their opportunity with you here. So, okay. St 
tell me more. Give me something else on the Empress here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This person wants you to be patient with them. All right. The Three of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. Oh, man. What in the world? Okay, let me get something on this Page of Cups then. The Star, the Hierophant, and the Six of Wands. This person wants to, I feel like, with the Hierophant, they want, they see like marriage with you in the future, okay? Um, there is this issue with something, you know, that is slowing them down, but they're, they seem to be wanting to invest in you, invest in, <laughs> man, this person does have good intentions, okay? <laughs> they do have good intentions. This is a general reading, y'all, so keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Also, use your own intuition for your own personal situations. Let's see. We're like 11 minutes in. Um, I don't want to get too deep off into different subjects. I want to keep this one kind of quick, okay? Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to figure out a schedule for YouTube. Okay, so we're going to do Sundays and maybe Wednesdays. Okay, we got the page of earth with the world. This person feels like they want to offer you the world, but they don't have enough to offer it right yet. I feel like they're trying to build that up. Okay, they feel like in comparison to you, um, they want to be like this emperor energy for you is what I'm getting. Okay, because I feel like even though I do feel like there's a mother energy in, in here, I do feel like they see you as this empress energy. The high priest is coming out here. Hmm. Let me shuffle these a little bit more. I see something that was going to take this somewhere in another direction, but we're going to see. Seven air. What? Okay. What do they need to know? What they need to know. This might not be the deck I need to use. Nothing's wanting to come out. The nine of earth seemed like it wanted to come out, which is showing me you have a lot of spiritual gifts because you did come out with the high priestess too. The four of fire. You feel like home to this person. Uh, there could be some kind of indication of a move in the future. Ace of air. Something about a contract. Okay. Justice. Libra energy with the six of earth. So what I'm getting with these. Something about a deer could be significant for somebody. But what I'm getting with these is that um, the tower. There's something that this person is trying to work around right now. It could be something like debt. It could be something like, you know, I who knows what it is for different situations. But they're trying to find like a, a doorway through here or some kind of way to get past something that is going on right now. Um, or some kind of way to integrate something to make things work for something. Okay. Three of water. The hermit with the seven of earth. This person is really going within here. And I'm say, I said something about a move. And I'm seeing keys here. Hmm. That's interesting. So this person is really thinking a lot about what some kind of investments right now. Some kind of investment is keys to something. Lots of keys. I'm seeing lots of keys. Okay, so that's what they could be focused on and investing in right now. We got the Queen of Water coming out in the bottom of the deck again. They're really focused also on you. Hmm. 
King of Earth. I'm telling you, trying to get their money together. Because it's like they feel like they have to be a certain level for you. Oh, two of water. That's the two of cups. That's that soulmate energy, soul connection energy, okay? Wow. This person really views you here as this independent beautiful person like they want to be able to give you like the diamond you know um they want to be everything that you deserve now if this is one of the type of situations where they got you waiting for 25 years or some crap like that don't <laughs> you know y'all um but if you if this message resonates and you just needed some kind of confirmation that somebody does have good intentions here then this message could be for you Okay, because that's what I'm getting. You could see 999 nine, because nine, we got 999 nine, nine right here as a confirmation that maybe this was your message. Okay, that's what I got for you guys. Um, Thank you for watching. And y'all, uh, show some love by commenting below if you could help me out. And we'll do Sundays and Wednesdays for YouTube. Like I said, every I'm posting every day pretty much on uh, Facebook and Instagram if y'all want to check me out over there. I haven't been on TikTok much lately or for a while. I may get back over there, but I just have to focus my time where I get the most, um, you know, I reach the most people. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what I got for y'all. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Thank you. And shout out to Brandon and Sophia and everybody over here who keeps, keeps showing love to my page <laughs> thank you guys and also y'all check me out over there too if y'all have facebook or instagram thank you bye